hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here if you are coming over from the other channels my name is claire i hope you stay i hope you like my content this is a huge christmas collaboration i've got two in australia we've got shell at shell's glam home and lisa at live it like lisa in america we have got mike my boy mike at mike life this is his first collaboration i'm so excited to drag him in and in the UK, we have got Crafty Decor by Tony, and we've also got Terrarium and Crafts and myself. So all doing a Christmas cushion, or that I now know in America, you guys call it, that you call them throw pillows, <laughs> but no, a throw cushion or a pillow, whatever it's called. This is my contribution. So this is what I made for my settee, my sofa. And yeah, it is a wool, woolen, grey with a plaid checkered tartan stag and it is a sewn cushion so i did sew this on my sewing machine but if you would prefer a no sew then just replace all of the sewing machine with glue if you want to hot glue it together just wherever i've got the sewing machine just hot glue it it is an envelope cushion they are the easiest possible cushions you could possibly make just so straightforward and easy with some tassels so yeah if you'd like to see how I made this, keep on watching. Another piece of exciting news is I am using some original music, original Christmas music. <gasps> so excited. So these two amazing lads in the UK called Billy and Louie, lovely young lads, and they've got the most adorable new Christmas CD out. It's ready to download and ready to stream. And I love it. And I was like, yes, let me use your music. So I'm going to link the, in the description box below, I'm going to link their details. I'm going to link their Instagram page and their YouTube channel. Go check them out. I adore them already. And I cannot wait to use their music. So thank you so much, boys, for letting me use it. I hope you love the cushion. And make sure you get your sewing machine out. Come and join me. Let's go. Cushion could not be any easier. I am only using two main colours. I'm using my main fabric, that's for the cushion, and my accent colour, which is this tartan fabric that I've had for donkey's years, but I got it from eBay, I'm pretty sure. So I just typed in tartan fabric by the meter. I still have some red left. I'm using this Wonderweb. Now, if you know Wonderweb, so I think some people call it Bonderweb, um, I'm using the sheet one. So I ordered a big sheet of it, and it's basically that iron-on this iron-on mesh and I've got my pom-pom makers for my pom-poms and you will need pins, scissors I'm gonna make a cushion that is 30 by 30 it's quite a small little throw cushion for the sofa and the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out my grey fabric first square I want 30 by 30 a perfect square the second square because it's an envelope cushion I want to add some so the first square is gonna be 30 by 30 the second square mm, 30 by let's say 45 to give us that overlap that envelope overlap so i'm going to go ahead with a ruler and a pen I'm not fussed about the pen it's going to be on the inside and just mark out my square christmas trees and windows but there's still no sign of snow lights are all around me but the rain won't seem to go Bread is in the oven, still so much to do Presents to be purchased cause I may have missed a few We don't need a wife, Christmas to be merry Who needs presents when we've got enough to keep the twenty All I need this Christmas is to be around the motif I'm using I literally printed off a blank stag head drawing picture from Google now I've cut my tartan fabric down to the point where I know that stag head is gonna fit on top I want to do the same to my wonder web but I want to be really <laughs> I don't want to waste too much so I'm gonna just place it down on here I can see that it's covering but all of this is excess so I'm just gonna trim around like so before pinning it all together it's that wonder web I'm not <laughs> I don't want to lose so that's future project now the next 
step is just to pin all three together. Just a few days till the 25th is finally here. Wrapping presents, singing songs to spread some Christmas cheer. Roasting chestnuts in the fire, Christmas cards to write. I'm looking out my window, wishing for some snow tonight. We don't need a wine, Christmas to be merry. Obviously done is bonded all three layers together, so the fabric, the wonderweb, and the pattern. Now I'm going to cut out the pattern, and then all three pieces will be ready to just iron straight on to the front of the cushion. My Christmas dreams come true. We don't need a wine. Christmas to be merry. Who needs presents when we've got enough turkey for twenty? All I need this Christmas is to be around with you. No other I need to make my Christmas dreams come true. That is everything cut out. I'm not even gonna lie, that was fiddly. So so fiddly, but because I had pinned all of the antlers in place, I was able to get it all. I did lose an antler. <laughs> oh dear. But we can get that back on, that's no problem. So I'm gonna take this downstairs now and iron it on to the front of the cushion. You basically wanna lay out your wonder web and this is where it can get a bit fiddly because it's quite hard to see. Peel it away from the paper and lay it down pretty central to where you want your stag head motif to go. lay your fabric on top and once you iron that it will stay on right now that I have got that exactly where I want it I'm gonna put a tea towel over the top so that's just gonna protect the iron from any of that wonder web that might get on it Excuse the wrinkled tea towel. No, I'm not ironing for. <laughs> and then I'm just going to iron over. And what's going to happen is the iron will be hot enough to melt the wonder web and stick that motif to the cushion cover. change my thread out to red and I've just left the bobbin as grey because I don't actually care about the underside that much to change it um, so I am just threading my needle through um, if you're lucky to have a machine with an automatic bobbin oh my gosh life changer so I'm just gonna use like a, a number four on a tight so if you've got a like a zigzag stitch so I'm just gonna go around the whole edge with the minutest tiniest zigzag stitch you've ever seen because I don't have much room on this so I could just go around with a straight stitch but then I feel like all of these frayed edges it's just gonna come back to bite me after so I'm gonna go around with a tight tight zigzag stitch and uh, yeah come back <laughs> Lights are all around me, but the rain won't seem to go. Gingerbread is in the oven, still so much to do. Presents to be purchased, cause I may have missed a few. We don't need a wine, Christmas to be merry. Who needs presents when we got in? Bye.
inside the heel Wrapping presents, singing songs to spread some Christmas cheer Roasting chestnuts in the fire, Christmas cards to write Okay, on the long bits, I'm more than happy to go really, really fast. But on those little fiddly bits, oh boy, oh boy, I am literally putting it in down into slow mo. Looking out my window, wishing for some snow tonight. We don't need a white Christmas to be merry. Oh, who needs presents when we've got enough to keep the twenty? way now I'm not sure my camera is gonna get a close-up of that stitching but I've gone around the entire edge with this fat let me show you this side this fat red zigzag stitch that's pretty much gonna keep that tartan fabric in place so yeah this doesn't fray so I'm not gonna worry about you know turning the edges over and stitching them all in place before stitching them all in place so I'm just gonna go ahead make sure that it's inside out when I sew it so that when you flip it around the right way, got a cushion. Yeah, let's go. that pen mark so I'm gonna sew along that pen mark it's just gonna make my life so much easier Okay, that is it. 
I'm going to take the pins out, fold the cushion around the right way, and you will see. You will see. make sure there's no pins. Let's just run our hands over. <laughs> That's how I usually do it and really hurt myself. I might do it now just to show you where you cut the inside of the corners off. That just allows for a much neater corner when you flip it back around. Um, I'm useless. I really am. I, I very rarely do it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, just to show you guys today, I'm just going to cut that corner off. Don't go near the thread, otherwise that will open up your whole cushion. going to flip it around. Dun, dun, mm. Everything is so fiddly when you're kind of like filming. In reality, this would have just opened like a dream. It's a true story. Okay. Oh, it's a cute little cushion. Love it. This will fit the pad so perfectly and go well with all of the Christmas cushions I've made in previous years. Okay. It's got quite a generous, it's got quite a generous envelope there to put your cushion pad into. So I did start making these pom-poms and it was halfway through these pom-poms. I absolutely did not like them. I changed my mind again. What I'm going to do is go with the original red pom-pom trim that I bought that I went off. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the original idea that I had and stick with it because I just think... That's what I wanted to do in the first place. Now, I'm very aware these are different reds, so they might upset some people, but I think just the simple red trim pom-pom at the bottom is just gonna look way cuter than two giant pom-poms. Unfortunately, because I changed my mind halfway through making the pom-poms, I ideally would have sewn this on. Now, I don't even know what this fabric, I think this is like a wool anyways, probably I'm not going to be running it through the washing machine, so I'm okay, I'm going to hot glue this to the bottom. using a feather cushion pad that I've got from a, a new um, TK Maxx cushion it's covered in green fluff from the cushion but to get it in it's as simple as is an envelope slot so you shove it in one side and then you pull this out to cover it up that is it sitting on my sofa I absolutely love it let me know what you guys think think and I hope you've enjoyed this one don't forget to go over and check out all the other channels that I mentioned at the beginning the links to their channels will be in the description box below oh I absolutely love it I only wish I did this at the beginning and sewed it on instead of changing my mind like I always do but yeah I hope you really love this one guys and I will see you in the next video bye here it is on my sofa with all of the cushions I've made in previous years, apart from that amazing one there. That's from TK Maxx. But yeah, I've made some plain red ones which haven't yet gone in. They're cushion pads. I made a long one, which is perfect for this. It matches completely plain red. And this one is my all-time favourite. This is my penguin made exactly the same way. And yeah, another more basic stag head. I hope you really, really like this one. It just sits so well with all of the cushions I've made previous years. Hope you love the video. Go check out everyone in the description box. Oh, I can't wait to see what they've made. And Billy and Louie, thank you so much for your music. I hope you guys enjoyed their song. Go check it out. Download it. Do what you need to do. Everyone, have an amazing time making your cushions. Could not be easier. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.